Welcome, this is the Delta Math Solution Tutorial covering transversal problems with equation level 1. Given m is parallel to n, you are going to find the value of x. We have to see how these angles are related before we set up the equation. Let's zoom in to see how these angles are related. This angle on top right here can be slide down right here then we saw that we can slide it down using the transformation of translation and we saw that these two angles here the angles are congruent that means they are the same they are the same therefore we can set up the equation 6x plus 20 is equal to 8x minus 10 because remember we said it they are congruent they are the same so now we can do our algebra and solve so I'm going to add 10 to both sides I get 6x plus 30 is equal to 8x now get x on one side so I subtract 6x to both sides I get 30 is equal to 2x divide by 2. I get x is equal to 15. Let's enter 15 here. Submit. All right, and we did it correct. All right, notice that these two are congruent. We have a name for those. Those we call them corresponding angles. Okay, there we go. Let's do some more. Here it says given m is parallel to n, you're going to find the value of x. Before we set up the equation, we have to see how the angles are related. Let's see how the angles are related. Let's grab one of the angles. So I'm going to grab this angle up here. And I'm going to slide it all the way down using the transformation of translation all the way down here. Okay. So this is 3x minus 2. All right. Once I bring it down. All right. So these two are related how? Well, here we would say that these two angles are what? They are vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are congruent. So let's set up the equation. We saw it is 2x plus 30 is going to be equal to 3x minus 2 because they are congruent because they are vertical angles all right now once we set this up now we can solve so i'm going to add two to both sides so this can cancel i get 2x plus 32 is going to be equal to 3x i have the 2x so I'm going to subtract 2x to both sides this cancels out bring down the 32 equal 3x minus 2x just gets us 1x but we don't write that one so we can say 32 is equal to x so let's enter 32 here hit submit there we go all right okay so we are allowed to set up this equation again because they are congruent. This does have a special name. It's called alternate exterior. But again, the way we did it was we translated down and saw that they're vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are congruent. Let's do a couple of more. Here it says, given m is parallel to n, you're going to find the value of x. To solve for x, we have to set up an equation. To set up the equation, we have to see how the angles are related. 
Let's zoom in here to see how these two angles are related. Let's translate one of them. So I'm going to grab this angle right here, which is this angle. And I'm going to slide it down here. It's going to slide right here. And we're going to slide it down using the transformation of translation. So this angle is 3x minus 5 parentheses. We know that here, this, these angles here together, they make a linear pair. So linear pair, they make a line. Okay, that means they add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we're going to set up our equation. 3x minus 5 plus 2x minus 25 is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Why are we allowed to do that? Because we said it. We saw that they are linear pairs. And we know linear pairs add up to 180 degrees All right so let's do the algebra here so let's combine some like terms okay so notice i can just take out the parentheses because there is a one in front so that's fine now let's combine some like terms so we have a 3x and a 2x here this becomes 5x Okay, then I have a minus 5 and a minus 25. So that gets you a minus 30. Okay, equals to 180. All I did here was I combined some like terms. Now I'm going to add 30 to both sides. This cancels. I get 5x is equal to 210. Divide by 5 to both sides. I now get x is equal to 210 divided by 5. That gets me 42. Let's check our answer. And we are correct. Okay. So once I hear they, they brought the 2x minus 25 up using translation. And they saw that they're supplementary, which is what we say as linear pair. And they did the same algebra step as we did, right? Remember, we can drop the parentheses because there's a one in front, okay? So there you go. Those are every single possible problem that you can see in the transversal problems with equations.